Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Fullerton and today I want to talk about sound waves. Our objectives are going to be to understand the basic nature of sound waves and then we're going to calculate basic attributes of sound waves, things like wavelength, velocity, and frequency. So sound is a mechanical wave observed by detecting vibrations in the inner ear. Typically these vibrations are caused by particles of air. However, sound doesn't have to travel just through air. It can travel through water, wood, even steel. But it's a longitudinal wave in which the particles are moving in the same direction, vibrating in the same direction as the wave velocity. Typically, the frequency range that we as humans can hear is somewhere between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So quite a wide range of frequencies we can pick up. And also important to note is the speed of sound in air at standard temperature and pressure, STP, standard temperature and pressure, is about 331 meters per second. So sample problem one. An outdoor concert, a delay of 0.5 seconds, so T equals 0.5 seconds, was observed between the time sound waves left a loudspeaker and the time these sound waves reached an audience member through the air. If the air is at standard temperature and pressure, how far was the audience member from the speaker? Well, we know that the velocity of sound at standard temperature and pressure is 331 meters per second. So how far? We can use our formula, average velocity equals distance over time. Therefore, distance equals average velocity times time or distance equals 331 meters per second times our time, 0.5 seconds, for a total distance of about 166 meters. All right, let's try another one. The sound wave produced by a trumpet has a frequency of 440 hertz. What is the distance between successive compressions in this sound wave as it travels through air at standard temperature and pressure? So frequency, 440 hertz. We know, since it's at STP, that its velocity is 331 meters per second. We want to know the distance between successive compressions. Well, the distance between compressions in a wave is going to be the wavelength. So we're looking for lambda. We can use our wave equation. V equals F lambda. Therefore, lambda, the wavelength, must equal velocity over frequency. So wavelength equals 331 meters per second over our frequency of 440 hertz for a wavelength of 0 0.75 meters. All right, let's see if we can't get one more, something a little bit more detailed. A stationary research ship uses sonar to send a 1.18 times 10 to the third hertz sound wave down through the ocean water. The reflected sound wave from the ocean bottom, 324 meters below the ship, is detected 0.425 seconds after it was sent from the ship. Find the speed of the sound wave in the ocean water. Now to find the speed of the sound wave in ocean water, we know the distance it traveled and the time it took. If it went 324 meters down, it must have also gone 324 meters back for a total distance of 648 meters. And the time it took to do that was 0.425 seconds. So the speed of sound in water must be 1520 meters per second. Now for part B, calculate the wavelength of the sound wave in the water. In this case, we can use our wave equation, V equals frequency times wavelength, or wavelength equals velocity over frequency, 1520 meters per second over our frequency of 1180 hertz is about 1.29, 1.3 meters. So we found our wavelength of the sound wave in the water. Finally, we're asked to determine the period of the sound wave in the water. Well, period is just 1 over frequency. So that's going to be 1 over 1180 hertz, or 1181 over seconds, for a period of 8.47 
times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. Hopefully this gets you started on understanding the propagation of sound waves and how we can apply what we already know about waves to sound. If you need more help, looking for more information, visit aplusphysics.com. Thanks and make it a great day.